Lately, I've been on the road a lot, and when you're a content creator, you need to be able to keep up with your production schedule no matter where you are, which means you need a laptop. After searching for a long time, I think I found the perfect balance between budget and performance for the type of work that I need a laptop for. Let's take a look at the Asus ZenBook UX430U, this guy right here. Okay, so for a long time I tried to resist the notion that I needed a laptop to get my work done on the road, or at least a laptop with a little bit of a kick to it. I say this because for the last few months I've been using the Chewy Lapbook Air, which was sent to me by the good folks over at Gearbest. They send me stuff all the time to review on my main channel, and for a while I've been thinking of bringing that type of content over to this one, Provided, of course, you guys want to see that. The Lapbook is a decent laptop with pretty impressive build quality for the price, but with the Celeron N3450 processor, you're not going to be doing anything too intensive. Emulators and older games from GOG.com, you're golden. Video editing, which is what I really need a laptop for, not so much. Unless, of course, you enjoy five hour video render times. For a while, I tried editing on my iPad. I bought a 9.7 inch iPad to replace my aging 2013 iPad mini, which you see here, and I was pleased to find out there are a few really decent video editors out there for iOS. For simple edits, iMovie works well enough. If all you need is some jump cuts and background music, it has you covered. For more in-depth edits though, you're going to need something like LumaFusion. LumaFusion is an expensive but incredibly capable video editor for iOS that is the closest thing to Sony Vegas I've ever seen on a portable machine. With multi-track support, pan and crop features, and a host of effects and transitions, you'd probably never guess the video you're watching was edited on an iPad. Not this video. I mean, you'd never guess that a video that you're watching that was edited on an iPad was edited on an iPad. By the way, in case you're wondering, this is what I used to get the footage into the iPad, Apple's camera kit SD card adapter. The problem is, at the end of the day, there are still a lot of limitations inherent to iOS, so sooner or later, I knew I'd need a real computer. Since there are a bunch of trips coming up and an insane schedule I need to be on top of, the time has finally come. I drove down to Memory Express today and picked up this baby right here, the 14-inch Asus ZenBook UX430U, and I'm really happy with this laptop. Let's get it out of the box first. I'm gonna do one of these right here. Okay, so you got the laptop here, you got the charger on the side here, and that's about it. You got a manual down here that, I mean, I'm not going to read. You, no, nobody reads these, right? Who cares? Out you go. So, the UX430 is available in four colors. Royal Blue, Rose Gold, Shimmer Gold, and Quartz Gray, which is the one I got today. Build quality is really, really good. The body is a sturdy aluminum alloy that offers no flex and feels really premium. It comes at just 2.78 pounds or 1.2 kilograms for my international friends, so it's pretty light for its size. Thanks to the small bezels, the ZenBook UX430 manages to squeeze a 14-inch screen in a 13-inch body. This seemingly paradoxical trick of engineering is something that I, as a big fan of portability, really appreciate. In regards to ports, this thing has all you'd expect from a laptop at this size and price point. On the right side over here, you'll find a USB 3 port and an SD card reader. Over on the left side, you have a micro HDMI port, a second USB 3 port, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and a USB Type-C connector. It's worth noting that the UX430U can't charge over USB-C, which is kind of disappointing. The screen, as I mentioned, is a 14-inch panel squeezed into a slim 13-inch body thanks to the tiny bezels here on the side. It has a nice matte finish, and while I personally prefer the look of a glossy display, matte is a lot easier on the eyes since it's far less reflective. The keyboard is a chiclet-style fare that has long been the standard in these Ultrabooks. It's also backlit, which doesn't come in a lot of laptops in this size and price range, so I really appreciate that. It has a nice buttonless trackpad right here at the bottom, and a fingerprint scanner right here on the right hand side. Fingerprint scanners are the kind of thing I never considered a strong selling point on a laptop before, but that I came to quickly change my mind on the more I used it. We often sacrifice either convenience for security or security for convenience. It's rare to have both, and a fingerprint scanner is one of those exceptions. Type a 30 character long password with a bunch of special symbols and lowercase, uppercase variations, or just touch a little plastic square here for half a second, 
I'll take the second option any day. Specs wise, the UX 430U is no slouch. It's rocking an i7-8550U processor. And yes, the U series is known for putting performance in the backseat for the sake of battery life, but I've heard that this is alleviated somewhat with the 8th gen i7s. Since I just got this today, I'll have to check back on that later. This laptop has a 512 gigabyte SSD, which is, well, about right for the price. Anything less would have made me look elsewhere. As for battery life, the UX 430U is rated at about eight hours of continuous internet browsing, which isn't too shabby, but it's far from the best in the category. Dell's XPS 13 Ultrabook, for instance, has an insane 15 plus hour battery life. It's also more expensive and has half the RAM and storage, so you gotta pick your battles. A nice 16 gig DDR3 RAM wraps up what the fuck was that? A nice 16 gig DDR3 RAM wraps the UX430 package up. Overall, the limiting performance factor here is going to be the underwhelming integrated UHD620 GPU. I don't do much PC gaming even on my gaming desktop, so I'll be fine with the odd emulator here and there. Or not even, because I'm hopelessly addicted to Bomberman DS. For real, I've had a DS for well over a decade, and Bomberman DS came out in 2005. I love Bomberman, and I have no idea how this one managed to fly under my radar for so long, but I can tell you that in the last couple of days, I'm doing my hardest to get the 13 years worth of Bomberman DS goodness I've been missing out on. Some people might ask, but Izzy, since you do video editing, wouldn't you want a better GPU? In theory, yes. Problem is, my version of Sony Vegas doesn't do GPU acceleration of video rendering, so it makes no difference to me. It's all going to be in the processor anyway. Besides, most laptops with really rocking GPUs are the gamer laptop type, and I couldn't hate that aesthetic more. It's simply not for me. Overall, considering the price tag of $1,200 Canadian dollars, I'm really happy with this laptop. I'll still have to use it more to give it a final verdict, but for now, the size, better life, screen, and build quality all get a thumbs up from me. And that's it. If you'd like to see more reviews like this, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe to stay in touch. Follow me on social media. I absolutely love to hear back from you guys over there. And that's all the time I have for today. I'm Izzy, and I'm done. The lap book is a pretty decent laptop. Fuck my life, I keep reading that wrong. You, you think that with a teleprompter I wouldn't make mistakes, right? I told you guys I'd find a way.